Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Trending. My name is Nancy Isime and Trending is brought to you by Airtel. As you know, it's the tradition of this show. I'm going to go on a short break and when I come back, I'll reveal who my guest is for today and we're going to get talking about what is trending and of course have our topic for the day. You don't want to miss any of this. I'll be right back, guys. Stay with me. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, today's topic of the day, we'll be discussing how being a thespian helps one to become a better actor. Now, we know too well that not all actors are trained actors. I mean, trained in the sense that they actually went to school to study theater art. Some actors fell into acting mistakenly and they realized that, you know what, this is a path for me. And so they decided to, you know, build themselves and grow and learn on the job. Some actually had to go for acting trainings or lessons, um, as the case may be, after acting in one or two movies. As a thespian, you went to school to actually study the concept of acting. And all acting is all about, both for stage and for TV. And so one could say you are the real actor. But we can't deny the fact that there are some actors who didn't study acting or training in the craft, but they are way better um, than those who studied the craft, according to some people. And there are those, you know, it goes by its you know, we can say both for each way. Now, we can therefore say that being a thespian could make one a better actor. It just depends. And today in the studio, I have someone who will be discussing this topic with me. I'm sure he knows better. I'm talking about uh, AMVCA 2017 winner for Best Actor in a Drama. We're talking about no other but Sambasa Ndaribe. Woo! <laughs> How are you? That's what's up. I'm fine. I'm How fine. are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still trying to contain myself. I know. I mean, you're still in the joy of what happened <laughs> yeah. recently. I mean, it's, it's, it's it was it was overwhelming. Okay. Overwhelming. How are you still feeling? Like, you, do you still wake up and <sighs> you know have to reply some messages from Saturday? From like... definitely, I'm still replying messages, uh -huh. uh, continuous messages, uh, because uh, it just seemed like the whole world tuned in. Yes, yes. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, so you yeah, still yeah. have to get back to people. But it's good to have you on the show today. Let us Thank talk about you. your style before we go into the topic of the day. Okay. Uh, tell us what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it on our style of day segment. Well, um, wearing tapa clothing. Okay. Yeah, and um, you know, trying to support the blue nigeria yes, yes by nigeria, nigeria. So, yes so um i just want to appeal to more uh, more of my african side okay you know, so the, i just told tapa what can we do right and this is it i hope i look uh, is tapa your personal designer yes definitely he sold the winning suit for definitely that night. amazing tapa shout out to you <laughs> oh shit tapa send me some suit let me win some best actress <laughs> But let's talk about you acting right now. How okay. did acting start for you? Um, it started uh, with uh, my late mother okay. losing my late father. Right. And she took refuge in the church. Okay. You know, so she had day-to-day -day living um, primary school teacher. Mm. So St. Mary's Catholic Church, um, charismatic group. Then mm. she became the drama and choir teacher. Okay. So as a child, I always tagged along and then from there I got into drama singing mm -hmm. and later in the course of the years after she died right. um, St. Mary's Catholic Church the Catholic women organization have this orphan scheme where right. they send orphans to school how old were you um, this was after secondary school right. yeah so um, I got admission into Creative Arts Department, University of Lagos. Ooh. And then in my third year, I uh, was rehearsing. There's this practical, uh, we do the lecturers ask the third year students to direct the first year students. So mm. I was rehearsing. Mm. And this guy just walks up to me, Eric Ahimian. You know, would you like to be in an, in an audition? I said, yes, 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 because I was very serious with what I'm doing, you okay. know. And then uh, I went for the auditioning and um, Boom, A Mile From Home by mm. Erika Himian, multiple award-winning movie. Was A Mile From Home your first movie? Yes, definitely. Wow. It was in my third year. No way. Yeah. And you were amazing. <laughs> I think you, you won uh, uh, no, a No, I did. I, I played um, Suku. Okay. Uh, Tokwe Tedela won uh, Best Actor. Best for, Actor. I think yes. I saw you as well because I watched the movie and yeah. all of that acting, all that yeah. fighting. It, it won uh, close to 12 awards. Woo! Did America, you have to learn Nigeria. all that stunts? Yeah, we did. We did uh, pre-production uh, preparation. Uh, okay. You know, so um, Eric Ahimian, the way he shoots his movie, we have to rehearse so that nobody gets uh, unnecessary accident during okay. the shoot. Yeah. Right. That means it's not too long. You just finished school then. Yeah, I finished in 2014. 
Wow. And two, three years after, two years after you won the supporting, <laughs> three years after you won Best Actor. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Now, as a thespian, um, I'm also an actor. You oh, know, shit. Like, so a lot of people, I know, I know thespians, <laughs> they could be a bit annoying because they're like, oh, but I'm a thespian. Really? And you, you know, you just... No, man, that's what's up. If you're a thespian, you're a thespian. If you're a thespian, it's something to be proud of. I mean, you went to, f to school for it and yeah, you studied the yeah. art. I will understand. But yeah. can you say it actually makes your performance a lot better than... Um, any other person's acting who's not trained for um, trained? Uh, for me personally, Sambasa and Zerbi, mm -hmm. I would say yes, you mm -hmm. know, but um, if I want to throw it open, I would say not necessarily okay. because um, at the end of the day, it depends on your passion. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of people that go to acting school and don't do anything with it, right. not because they don't want to be in it, but because. Uh, the passion is not there. Mm -hmm. One thing that has always uh, driven me is the passion. The passion mm -hmm. to do what... F all the time I was in the classroom, in the lecture room, mm -hmm. I, I never saw myself in the office. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to practice. Wow. You know, that's what's up. Come that's, on. I know, right? Yeah. So would you say it's actually helped your performance be a lot better, so to speak? Yeah, like? definitely. Because um, uh, they treat us, uh, test parents, like military people how is that yeah because uh we we're in, we're in school people see us and they laugh at us because they think we're playing and no way. then uh they don't know or uh, they don't get that we do theory and we do practical uh, so we it's not just one way so we 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 take our time and mm. our lecturers don't want to know mm. they don't even sunday is not even a day like uh, Sunday is just a normal day. We do what? anything, any day. Just, you are told, get it done. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, death. Now, how would you say, I know your first movie, like you said, is yeah, in my from home. home. Yeah. But from there, how has it been easy actually getting into Nollywood? Because your first movie can be boom, but you know, some people might just not receive you as many, as much as they receive a lot of other people who have already been in the industry. So how has it been for you? To uh, penetrate. Yeah, um, well, for me, it was uh, kind of sweet, kind okay. of cool. Um, uh, the initial stage wasn't easy because I was coming from stage to screen. Mm. And um, I f uh, during the shoot of A Mile From Home, I had some challenges, you know, but um, that's why uh, the director, as the captain of the production, you know, mm. does a lot for the production or for the project. Mm. You know, he just told me, Sambasa, you can do it. Because it was, it was a lead, you know, role, and mm -hmm. you, would, you can do it. And then I'm like, ah, there are other people here, and they're saying I can do it. Then you that means he, he, yeah. He but in school, his. did you did you see a particular kind of market? Because some people come out of school and say, you know what, I'm just going to do stage. Some people say, okay, you know, I just want to be for the big screen. Some people say, I want to just focus on TV series. What did you have in mind while going through school? Yeah, honestly, I wanted to do both. Okay. Yeah because um, I'm very passionate about stage right. and I love screen too, you know, but the screen has taken over, mm -hmm. you know. You know, one thing with the staging the play is that you have to rehearse for like two, three weeks. Yes, then you sometimes have to, months. Yes, uh, you know, uh, then you now have to perform, yes. you know, so it's very, very tedious, mm -hmm. you know. But for, to, for the screen, you know, uh, the director or the producer trusts you that you're a professional, mm -hmm. that you'll be able to get the job done. Mm -hmm. You know, so it depends on the actor's discipline. So okay. when you get on set, then you deliver. Okay. You know, so um, stage can be really, really, really tedious. Very. But well, when both of them, which of them would you say is more lucrative financially? Definitely screen. Come really? on, that's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. Okay. Definitely. Is it just in this country? Or it's everywhere. Do you everywhere. Think? Everywhere, think? I think, yeah, everywhere, okay. everywhere, mm. definitely, because uh, people get to see you in their living rooms, right? Go to the cinema and see you, mm -hmm. you know. So it only takes um, those kind of people that really love stage, okay. love that vibe. You know, you're like watching a football match, yeah, you go to the stadium and everything, mm -hmm. you know. So it just the uh, screen. Screen is it for you? Yeah. Great, amazing. Now tell us, how many movies have you appeared in since your first film? Ah, since have you done any stage? Tell us. Definitely. I, ah, I did since then? stage. Um, I did stage before my first movie and I did a couple of stage until the After. stage, yeah, mm -hmm. until it just uh, died down. And okay, the that's it. Just, uh, Took over. Yeah, just so how many screen movies have you been in? Um, let me say like uh, 10. 
10? Yeah. Okay. 10, 9, 10. Are you one of those who select scripts? <laughs> I mean, to get to him, he has to go through like a group of people, like the men. They're, they're in the studio, right? And they're like, so are you guys one of those who, you know, goes through scripts and be like, nah, well, not this well, one? Well, I'm one of those people that grew up loving television. Okay. Yeah, so um, when I see something that is good mm. and I'm, I'm interested in it, I just do it, you know. I can tell. I can tell what is, uh, what is cute, what is good, what would be good to be part of. So okay. once I'm okay with it then, I'm good. You know, as an actor, you go through stages where it's about money. Then later on, it's about, yeah. you know, it's about the, the scripts. And then I think it starts with, okay, what can put me out there? Yes. And then it goes into, okay, what can feed me? And then it goes into, what can make me famous? Mm. And then sometimes it comes together. Which is it for you right now? What stage are you in? Um, what can put me in that place that I just represent? This is Sambasa. Right. What stands me out? Mm. That's where I am now. What stands Sambasa and Zerubi out? In three words, what stands you out right now? What do you think stands you out? I've seen some of your movies and I can tell you like powerful roles. Like anytime you're playing something powerful, it's amazing. And you've won awards for powerful roles as well. Yeah. So which of them do you think you want to explore some romantic side of you that you feel will put you out there more? Yeah, I'll, I'll like to do romance, comedy. Okay. I love comedy. Really? Do you think you can do com comedy? Well, I was in the wedding party and people liked it. Okay. Look, man. Look, man. Wedding party. So, okay. thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so definitely. Um, I just like script that has to have a lot of depth. Okay. Yes, and um, that allows me to connect with a character that is not me in real life. Okay. What you is know? your dream role? Ah, uh, my dream role is to, in Nigeria, for us to do that kind of that mm -hmm. gladiator gladiator Troy. there are plenty of epic movies now no, in Asaba. no not that car with no. what <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Like talking about gladiator you wear you tie that around your waist and you you kill people no come on not that I, I mean, yeah no, i mean the main you know when you big budget you know, when you watch was crow and like are you not entertained yes oh no, i know no, no, no. I know. Well, congratulations again on your award. I mean, you, Thank you. won Best Actor in a Drama, beating veterans like Uncle Olu Jacobs, ah. RMD, Ram Sinua. How does that make you feel? I saw you on stage. I was there live and direct, and I felt your speech. I think everybody felt you when you said, um, I feel like you felt like you won because of the permission from these people. But how <laughs> do you make you feel? Well, uh, right from the AMVCA nominees announcement party, yeah. I, I actually screamed in the hall. <laughs> you know, someone was near me, I was like, wow. Yeah. And then I told, I told people that were close to me that mm -hmm. ah, this, I've gotten a lifetime award by being a nominee mm -hmm. in among the legends of Nollywood, mm -hmm. Uncle Luigi Cobbs, Ramsey Noir. Come on. on, you know. So, uh, in the hall that day, it's just like Nigeria is playing against Cameroon, and uh, we are about to take the penalty <laughs> that decides the end of the game. You the love final. football, yes, obviously. definitely. Oh my, you brought football into everything. <laughs> Do you see yourself playing? If you had not been an actor, would you be I actually a trained to be a footballer. Ah, how you many know, things did yeah, you train for? Only you test and only you footballer. <laughs> how? I, I did, I did, but I think maybe my passion for football wasn't. Was that before enough. school? Or what yeah, before schooling? school. Yeah. Really? Yeah, back in, in, in those in the solo, if you know Red Sand, Red Sand, there is a popular place called Red, Red Sand. Sand. Okay. That's, that's where I used to train as a footballer too. If you got the opportunity today, would you try your hands at ah, football again? It's good, but. Uh, no, I will not live a happy life. So you're happier being yes, an actor? Uh, yes, I'm good. Thank you very I'm much. Good. That's good enough. I think I'm we good. have it. I'm but good. what would you say to upcoming actors watching you right now? Who's, who's actually thinking, should I train to be an actor? Should I go to school properly? Or should I just go for it? Just pursue my, my passion like a lot of people have done in the industry. What advice would you give to them? OK, um, I would just say not everybody has that opportunity or privilege to go to an acting school. You know, so wherever you find yourself and you want to do acting, you know, make do with what you have. First, if you are in something that has to do with science, you know, or, you know, uh, the financial aspect, do what you can. You are intelligent. Do you. But definitely, definitely find somewhere. Find one workshop. Find one seminar. Find somebody, you know, to put you through. If you have the passion, 
You will shine more than many Thespians. You're going to shine when you're going to shine. Yeah, Tell def them. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Are you working on anything at the moment? Something yes. to expect? Yes. Uh, you guys should watch out for my um, project that I'm working with my management. Okay. It's titled No Wahala, There is Gary at Home. Is it comic? Sounds uh, like it. Well, I will not like to, you know, give it all. Just that. give us a genre. <laughs> That's what we're asking. We're not asking to give us a whole story. Is it comic or is it action? Well, I'll just say it's a monologue that has to do with uh, our society in Nigeria. Right. So that's why it's no wahala there is Gary at home. It's Gary at home, okay. Yeah, definitely. So watch out for no wahala there is Gary at Stage home. Stage or TV? Um, trying to mix uh, everything that has to do with the journey of Sambasa, stage and screen. Okay. Def. Amazing. Yeah, Stage you. and screen. I like that. Yeah. I like that. We look forward to that. Thank Coming you. out this year? Yeah, definitely. This year? De definitely. Okay. I mean, definitely. Uh, best actor 2017. What better time? I'm definitely. telling you, you, know? you better take charge of 2017. You better take and write 2017. <laughs> All right, guys. Enjoy the video of the day. We will be right back. There is this gun that I bought yesterday. If you see the gun, very sweet. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Hey, my friend, you don't see the latest shower we on board now. Shower. You want a food, 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 food. Come on, there, beg. No sense. As I was saying, I bought the gun. 3K. 3K. Big sis. Yes. I said, come here. You don't see my friends. Go inside, drop your bag, eh? I'll bring your assignments. Assignments? Yes, assignment. The last assignment he did for me, you killed my friend. <laughs> so you killed her. Mm. This one he just did last night. One of my teacher painted after reading the assignment. Painted? <gasps> Guess what? They've expelled me. Expelled? It's a lie. That does not know anything. That could be true. Yes. Compassion and Dwyer. Read that assignment. Let me hear. Major five mineral resources in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Her answer. One, Coke. <laughs> Two, Fanta. <laughs> Three, Sprite. Three, Sprite? You never even say anything. She included Melinda and Pepsi. Ah, my friend. <laughs> Killer. Compassion! Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video of the day. If you're just joining us, you're watching Trending, brought to you by Etel, and I still have Mr. Sambasa with me okay. on Trending. How's it been? Fine, 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 fine. Yes. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, right now we're about to have more fun. We've been talking about being a thespian and acting and everything in general, and uh, we're about to loosen up a bit. Are you ready for this? I hope so. Okay, up next is our Fast Five Questions segment, where I give you a couple questions, and you give the answers to them in 60 seconds. Okay. Yes. No, it's nothing to just we just get to know you better. Yeah, like I like to say. Okay. Are you ready for this? Mm, let's go. Time starts now. Favorite Nollywood actor? RMD. Can you swing? Nope. Happiest day ever. The day I got admission into the University of Lagos. Woo! Favorite Hollywood actress? Ah, Nicole Kidman. Irriti Doyle or Shola Shibowale? Really? Mm -hmm. Do I have to answer yes. that? Yes. <sighs> it's a favorite, it's okay. Okay. Both. <laughs> okay. Are you married? Nope. Favorite uh, football club? Ah, Arsenal. <laughs> what are you having for lunch? Well, uh, Beans and plantain. You love beans and plantain? Yes, I do. Wow. Favorite. Ooh. University? University of Lagos, Akoka Yaba, Lagos. Yes, Uncle Olu Jacobs or RMD? RMD. This is that easy. Look, there's nothing to it. This is simply just saying this is my favorite person. It's okay. nothing, okay? okay? So don't worry, I'm gonna come and shoot you. So okay. He said he prefers this to this. Okay. This should be two of them on stage. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Let us move on to the next one, which is the tribe, where you get to give us full minutes of some social media abbreviations or snacks that you possibly know. Really? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for this? You have to be. You have to tell me if you're ready first before it starts. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one off, 
BSC. <sighs> no idea. BSC has to do with a degree. Oh, Bachelor of Science? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Exactly. You just need to think. That's okay. it. It's really not that hard. Okay. Next one? Uh, HBD. HBD. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> TMI. TMI. <sighs> nah. Do you want me to help you? Yes. It's actually, you say it. You say, Nancy, please help me. It's not yet. <laughs> Nancy, please help me. And then you dab. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it means too much information. Oh, yes? too, my, too okay. much information. Yes. Uh, JK. JK. Nah. You already know what to do. Nancy, please help me. <laughs> and yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It means just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right, last one, last one. Uh, KK. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I was expecting the last down, but all right, so I'll give you that one. It's okay. All right, guys, those are most of the social media abbreviations we have for you, and you did well. Thank well, let you. Let us go on a short break now. When we get back, it is time for you to read some nasty comments. It's going to get a little nasty in here. You ready? Okay. After the short break, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Etel. This is a nasty comments part of the show where Sambasa is going to be reading some nasty comments and he's going to have some uh, hopefully nasty <laughs> response to them. Yes or no? Uh, you can't say, Abby. Let's go. All right, I'm going to give this to you. You're going to read and please react to them. Uh, anonymous. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe this. How can he win Best Actor? He's not even that good. He's just there. Okay. But you have to say to Anonymous. Well, anon Anonymous, uh, thank you. Uh, he's just there. Well, I'm here, trending. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dan Emoj, overhype, AMVCA, well done, sir. Help the poor boy. Well, I actually grew up on the street, so if AMVCA is helping me, then it's street to screen, and I'm on your screen. You're watching me. Back down. I thought it was uh, chick. SMH, Sambasa is still an upcoming, upcoming, upcoming. <coughs> Three upcomings. Anonymous. How far are you now? Guy, cool down, man. We said we don't try. Well, upcoming, upcoming, upcoming. Well, uh, thank God, 2017, Sambasa in Zebra is the best actor in Africa. Mm. Africa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> Anonymous. Okay, congrats. I'm sure he knows he don't. What did they say? <laughs> <laughs> this one that you posted. Your no, time. I can't read this one. Eh? Hey, what did they say? <sighs> How far are you now? Congrats. I'm sure he knows he doesn't deserve it. Like, seriously? Well, all I'll say is uh, thank you for your comments, and I thank God that I'm alive this period to receive that award, and all glory be to God. And thank you to everybody that voted for me. Thank you. Thank you to the people of Isolo. The people of Isolo! Isolo! Isolo in the beauty! Isolo in the beauty! Now, that's, that's what's up. <laughs> Thank you. That was so good. Thank I love you. the response. That's what I expect. Thank like, you. put it out there. Thank you. You might have to take this chair, man. Yeah, you just please, took over. Please. You're doing so well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so very much for coming. Hopefully, you come again. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, yes. Great. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Enjoy the top five. Be right back. Today, we'll be counting down the top five most stylish Nigerian celebrities. At number 5 is presenter and V-blogger, Toke Makinwa. At number 4 is the Coco Master, Debanj. Coming in at number 3 for most stylish in Nollywood is actress, Messi Aigbe. And at number 2 is musician, Timaya. And finally, at the number 1 spot is award-winning actress, Omotala Jalade Ekeinde.
Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching. It is time for me to close the curtains and call it a day. Thank you so very much for tuning in and thank you very much for watching. As you know, trending is brought to you by Dali Sponsors Airtel. Make sure to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HipTV and on Instagram at official HipTV. And also you can watch us online at www.hiptv.tv. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish at Nancy SMA official. And as you know, I had Sambasa on my hot seat. I hope you got to learn one or two things from him. You know, CC us on social media. Let us know what you learned. I'd like to know. Until I see you next time, do not forget that I love you. But God loves you more. Goodbye.